Hi, my name is John. Welcome to a Banggood tool review. This time I'm going to do a review on a key type chuck and an R8 adapter so I can use it in my milling machine. Before we get started, I want to make one or two things perfectly clear. Banggood don't make chucks, Banggood export them from China. And Banggood have sent me these items completely free of charge to do with whatever I want. I did ask them for this because I do need a key type chuck for the milling machine. If the product shite, I'll just say there's no stories, I don't need to tell stories. What you see is exactly what you get. I'll bring the camera in, open the little boxes, show you what they are, and then I'm going to clean them, check them out, install them, and do some accuracy tests on the milling machine. So you're also going to get to see how I install a drill chuck on an arbor, as well as a little review on a, a, a Banggood drill chuck. This is one of the chucks I normally use on me milling machine for drilling. It's only for drilling, but when I come to tap holes, the chuck doesn't leave being driven backwards, it comes undone. That's why I asked Banggood to send us this conventional type chuck. Then we'll have the corresponding R8 arbor. One problem you do get with these is that keyway there can be incredibly sharp. I normally get a little stone and just blunt it off. You can cut your fingers on that quite badly. It doesn't take much just to knock the, knock the little highlights off. Right, then we'll make sure it's nice and clean. Next we've also come with a chuck key I like that come on the yellow plastic might help it to stand out a little bit we need to clean the tape off the already tape on the spindle itself make sure there's no shite up there see how it's coming out dirty and this does get clean quite regular. I do look after it. It's a nice fit in there. Try and get it onto the onto the little key which it is there. The three it's the O and F is the the draw bar thread. Looks like it's standing still, that's always a, a good sign. I'll put a clock cage onto that. Put a mark on so you can definitely see it is turning. Bring that into a zero. Right, and as there's near to no run out as you could possibly get. In fact, there's no run out. I'll try to put that down. Right on the end. Right, so that's running dead true. That is a really good arbor, nothing the matter with that. It's as good as anything I've ever used. Doesn't be surprised actually. Next thing is to clean the, the hole in the chuck. It's coming out dirty, there's, there's traces of grease and things in there, packing grease, I want all that out. Right. Wipe the arbor again. Put it in and you can feel it. Try to lock on the taper. Turn it nice and gently, you'll feel it. If you pull it out and turn that, there's no high spots or lanes, it's sort of even all the way around. So now we need to install it permanently onto there. 
some people warm the chuck up slightly or, or freeze this I don't think you need to as long as I clean and dry turn it in like that and then we'll wind the, the chuck back so the chuck jaws are inside the housing I've got a block of aluminium on top of the anvil part of my vase the jaws are inside you can use a, a block of wood and a hammer I've got a lead hammer I'm going to hit it once one good whack on the end of there and that'll be it in there forever that's it one hit like that that's all you need so now we'll put this back in the milling machine and see how accurate the actual chuck's running five thou, four thou I tried turning the pin round in the chuck still four Get every chance of being as good as it can be. That's better. So just by playing around with it and tightening the jaws evenly, I've got it down to under two thou. Two thou is more than accurate enough for tapping holes. More than accurate enough. And the thing with this chuck is it won't unwind when I try and reverse the tap. That's what I wanted it for. It's basically going to do what I want it to do. Try it again. So I've nipped all three jaws evenly. Couple of thou. I try it on this chuck I use all the time. See how much run out on that one. This is actually sticking down a lot further. And that one's given four thou. So it's at least as good as the one I use all the time. In fact, it's better. I always end up asking myself the question, would I buy these items to use in my workshop? Absolutely, I think they're good value for money. They're more than accurate for the job I wanted them for, so I'm very happy with them. Don't forget, if you click on the link in the description box and buy a chuck or an arbor, in fact, if you click onto the link and buy anything from Banggood, I do get a small amount of commission. I wouldn't be able to retire on it, but it certainly helps me to buy bits and pieces for the shop and make more and better videos. Anyway, thanks for watching.